Hello friends, Susan Campfield here. Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in. We're going to relax. We're going to craft together. It'll be fun. It'll be crazy. We'll lose some stuff. How are you doing tonight? Um, welcome to my channel. If you're on YouTube, hello. You might be over on Facebook in my Sue Stampfield Facebook group or on my Sue Stampfield page, wherever you are. Thanks so much for tuning in and joining me. And thank you so much for making and sending handmade cards. You are making the world a kinder place. So I appreciate all of your card making efforts. Hopefully in tonight's video, I can uh, spark a little creativity, give you a new idea so you can make and send even more cards and bring even more joy to more people's lives. So thanks so much for joining me. We're going to make another card with a beautiful flowering zinnias suite. This is a sneak peek. This is not available to customers yet. Right now, this suite is only available to demonstrators for the pre-order. Demonstrators always get to purchase the new products first. And of course, we get our fabulous demonstrator discount. Um, it's also available as a starter kit choice. If you want to try out being a demonstrator by purchasing the starter kit, you can put some of these brand new products like the flowering zinnia suite right in your kit. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Um, shout out to my moderator, Jennifer Walsh, hanging in the comments. Wanted to remind you that I do send out free project sheet um, emails uh, a couple times a month. You can go to suestampfield.com, click on subscribe to subscribe to those emails. Those will have a printable project sheet so you can print out um, the measurements and make the card at your leisure. It'll have the picture of the card and some step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to make it. So let's go ahead and put that away. <laughs> and let's go down to my desktop here. Here we go. Okay, all ready to create. Isn't that funny when I put my hands in, it kind of changes color. So weird. Lighting is so odd. So we are once again using the um, Zinnia Suite. The suite has um, a bundle in it, the Simply Zinnia's bundle. Um, actually, in tonight's card, we're only going to be using the sentiment right here, which I love, sending flowers and thinking of you. I love it because it's unique. It's different than any other stamp sentiment I have, and it works for so many events and occasions. So it's a very versatile greeting. We also have some other great um, th greetings that are um, thank you uh, sentiments or gratitude. So um, so those are nice as well. And then of course the bouquet and the flower and stem, and those have matching dies. And then there are quite a few standalone dies as well. We will be playing with the dies, fear not, on a future video. <laughs> um, but in this one, we're going to once again focus on the gorgeous paper. Now, in the last video, let's look at the card we made in the last video. We made this gorgeous card. We used the Zinnia's 3D embossing folder here on the side. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. And we used the gorgeous um, uh, uh, flowering zinnias <laughs> designer series paper. We're trying to remember all the names of the different pieces in this suite. And then the suite also comes with some really fun embellishments. Oh gosh, you guys, where are they? Oh, heavens, Betsy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, goodness. I've lost my first thing. Oh, goody. We can take a sip, everyone. <laughs> no, I don't know where it is. It's over here somewhere. So I'll just grab another package because if one is good, my brain says two is even better. So I, <laughs> and it's good because I lose a lot of things. Okay, these. I'm going to have to open another package. Oh my gosh, Susan, that is so ridiculous. <gasps> oh, heavens, Betsy. All right, anyway, we're moving forward. We're not going to stop for that. Adhesive-backed shiny sequins are the name of the sequins. And I'm, I'm imagining in our card tonight, we're going to be using some sequins. Who knows? Maybe I will have a brain flash and figure out where the heck I put those. Oh, gracious goodness. Okay. All right. And then um, we also have this gorgeous designer series paper. So this was one of my favorite go-to layouts because you get to see both sides of the designer paper. And so this was a, um, this particular pattern. Let's pull that paper in here. Oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Just do a quick little recap of the paper. I showed it uh, more in depth in the last video. So we're just going to briefly take another little peeky at it here um, and find the one that we're after. <laughs> this is the one I think we use tonight. Mm, so pretty. And maybe this one too. In fact, for sure this one too. 
and then this one that has the least the leaves on it so this was designed um, specifically so you could stamp and die cut the flower and put it right on the stem so definitely be trying that in a future video but this was the one we used in the last video and it's designed to be cut um, in half at six inches and then cut four uh, four by six and then you cut it down to five and a half to make or five and a quarter I should say four by five and a quarter to lay on a card front however for this card we actually did five and a half by three so this particular card you could get eight out of one sheet or 16 out of a pack um, and then we used that little leftover bit this was five and a half and it, it comes 12 inches so when we cut it in half it's six inches so that extra half inch that came off went on the inside of the card now i did post a picture of this on my sue stanfield facebook group anyone is welcome to join over there and i have the dimensions for this over on the sue stanfield facebook group i also have them in the description of this video so of the this video if you go find this one all right so back to our paper here uh, we're not going to use the embossing folder tonight either. We're going to focus on this gorgeous designer paper. We're going to use this one and one other pattern, but we're going to start with this one. So the card that we're making tonight is one that we have. I really, I, when I find a fold that I like you guys, I just dive into it and I like to make lots of cards with it. That's why my crafter noon events, I always make five, at least five cards um, using the, the unique creative folds that I design. By the way, Craftoon this month is going to be um, near the end of February, the last Saturday in February, which I believe is the 24th um, at 3 p.m. Central Time. I hope you can tune in for the latest fun fold. Our last fun fold um, for Craftoon was this one. Let me grab it here, which is the beautiful um, box seat fun fold. So this to me looked like a box seat um, that you uh, sit in at a, a opera or whatever. So here's the people, here's the Statler and Waldorf um, heckling from the box seat up on the balcony um, and it stands for display. And so that was last month's Crafternoon. You can get all the details on the Crafternoon Fun Fold cards and see all the designs on my blog, SueStampfield.com. All right, back to this. So tonight we're gonna do this accordion Fun Fold card. So in a previous video, we made this one. And in another video, we made this gorgeous one with the um, lovely and sweet uh, uh, bundle and the um, Nature Sweetness, I think the name of this designer paper is. Anyway, super pretty, just absolutely gorgeous. So you can see that this fold has lots of possibilities. So we have a super elegant one here, great for a wedding, maybe a funeral, anniversary, um, a great floral one here. Oh, we have a random ribbon <laughs> here. And uh, this was inspired by my friend uh, Ruth Bengal. Well, I don't know where Ruth's card is, but she did it with the Celebration freebie. Mm, come on, Susan. It's here in this mess somewhere, you guys. Hang on. I oh, found it. And I thought of it because I think that's where this, this ribbon went. I think it right it goes right here and it fell off. Sorry about that. So she used the Celebration free paper, Flight and Airy, right now during Celebration in, Janu in February, January, starting in January. You only got one month left. We're running out of time here. You've got, what, three weeks left um, to take advantage of celebration. So you place a $50 order. You can pick a free item like this beautiful um, Flight and Mary designer paper, or there's been a whole bunch more uh, choices added. So thank you, Ruth, for teaching me this fun fold. We're going to do it again tonight. We are making a few little tweaks this time. So let's give it a go here. We're going to use this pattern for part of our card. This one has a melon mambo background with a real red printout of the zinnias. And then on the back, we've got a real red pattern with a little um, plus sign uh, and a dot in the melon mambo. So we're going to start by cutting our paper. I'm going to bring in the paper trimmer. By the way, did I tell you I'm pre-recording this? I don't think I did. I'm pre-recording this video <laughs> because um, I am I am on a retreat in Arizona right now. And um, I'm wiggling the camera. So sorry about that. So uh, shout out to my wonderful moderator, Jennifer Walsh. She's hanging in the comments here live with you all um, to answer any questions you have. 
I don't recall what the the schedule is for the retreat for Saturday evening, and it's a different time zone, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to tune in or not. But please uh, uh, leave me messages in the comments. I do read all the comments. So, okay, we're going to cut our paper at, um, what am I cutting it at? Let me look. Cut, let's see, measure twice, cut once. Is that what they say? Five and a quarter inches. Okay. And then I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to pull out the arm on the side of my paper trimmer. And I am going to cut this at 11 and a half. Okay. All right. And then we are going to do a little bit of scoring here. So I'm going to score it first at, and I'm going to leave that arm out because I'll need to, I'll need that. <laughs> So I'm going to score it first at one and three quarters. Okay, shut my shut the guard guard thing on my finger. That was not right. Okay, one and three quarters. Fortunately, it doesn't hurt. One and three quarters by four and three quarters. So one and three quarters, four and three quarters. Now seven and three quarters is the last score line. Oh, I love this fold. It's so fun. Seven and three quarters. All right. I do have the dimensions typed up here. I will put them on screen at the end of the video. Um, Jennifer, if you're watching on YouTube, Jennifer is also dropping them in the comments. All right. So we've got our paper here and we're going to accordion fold it. Hence the name of the card. So I'm going to fold it forward and backward and forward again. And then I'm going to grab, uh oh, <laughs> I was going to grab my bone folder, but my bone folder has ha, <laughs> vanished. Oh, found it. Take a sip, everyone. I actually found it. It was a miracle. All right. <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and just crease on here. Let me know what's in your cup tonight. I have ice water that I forgot to bring over here. So I have nothing right now. It's across the room, but I am too busy creating to go get it. So heck with that. All right. So we've got our accordion fold, right? Like so. And now we are going to um, get the rest of our cardstock out here. So one little tweak that I made with this particular one is the base um, on the other versions. I did the base at four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay. And your actual, after you fold this up, this width is actually three and three quarters. And this width is five and a quarter. So this is five and a half. This is five and a quarter. So you have a quarter inch um, at the top. Well, you have quarter inch extra split in half. So you have an eighth of an inch at the top and bottom, right? But at the sides, um, on this one, it's four and a quarter, and this is three and three quarters. So you have a half inch. So you end up with a quarter inch on each side. So on this one, I decided to have the top and sides the same. So for this one, the card base is four by five and a half. And I did use thick basic white just to add um, a little bit of heft to my card. And we're going to layer this piece on just like that as soon as up oh, found it take a sip everyone i found the adhesive we are off to the races here and there we go got some seal on there go ahead and stick this on like so all right very good and then we've got some other pieces here. So let me bring these in. So I have another piece of the designer series paper that I pre-cut with these. It's got the one with the white background and the zinnias all over it. And this piece is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. Now you absolutely could leave the card like this. I thought it would be fun to add a little pop of color since the suite is so colorful with adding some flowers on the front panel okay 
So I'm still using the second side of the designer paper because I can see it on both sides. And of course, you'll be able to see it when they, they'll be able to see it when they open the card. But this just adds a little pop of pattern. So we're going to go ahead and take that adhesive. I <laughs> thought I lost it again. I'm like, seriously, I couldn't possibly lose it that well. Yeah, I could. <laughs> See, I can't lose it that fast. Oh, yeah, I can. All right. So what size did I say this one is? One and a quarter by five and a quarter. Okay. So it's flush with the top and flush with the bottom and just has a little bit of that red showing on both sides. Now I've got three pieces that we're going to layer together, but the top one we're going to stamp with our sentiment. So let's bring in a melon mambo here and that fun sentiment which is sending flowers and thinking of you all right think think straight stamping thoughts for me friends <laughs> it always works great in practice but on a video mm, you just never know okay that's okay i can live with that so let me bring that up so you can see it all right there we go and then we're just going to layer this up so this particular piece is hang on i've got a lot of pieces here <laughs> They're all three by three and three quarters. Every single one of them are three by three and three quarters. This one is three quarters inch by three and three quarters. This one is one inch by three and three quarters. And this one is one and a quarter by three and three quarters. You can see where I was going with that. Oh, do I want to pop this up? Oh, I might want to. Yeah, I probably do. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to layer the melon mambo first. I love to add dimension to my cards. So I think popping the sentiment uh, up on dimensionals is just going to give it a little something extra, a little something, something. So let's grab our, what, wait, Susan, that is not even straight. What are you doing? Oh my heavens. All right. Let's just, let's just straighten up and fly right here. All right. That looks better. All right. We need, ah, found them. Dimensionals. Woohoo. <laughs> Or on a roll. Oh my gosh, this craft room looks like a bomb went off in it. Seriously, a creative bomb, but a bomb nonetheless. Okay. So I've got three dimensionals on the back of my sentiment there. I'm going to peel those off and stick them onto the other two pieces, like so. All right. So we've got our sentiment. Just slightly raised up on front on the front and then we're going to adhere this somewhere on here i'm going to go probably right in the middle um, i love pinks and so i'm choosing to cover up this flower that has the darker purple on it because i love these two flowers and i don't want to cover them up <laughs> so if i had a different my, my paper was slightly different i might be putting it down here i might be putting it up here totally doesn't matter right but I do want to make sure I only get adhesive on the part that's going to stick to this flap. So let me just eyeball that really quick. So I don't want any adhesive past the word flowers. So I'm just going to put some on here. Now you could also stick this on with a dimensional if you prefer. Totally up to you. I'm just going to put it right in the middle there. I want these cute flowers to show. So much pink. I love it. All right, so there we have our card that opens up like this. And then you might be wondering, well, where do, where do I sign the card, right? So we're going to sign the card. Now, on some of these, I put the panel here. Totally fine. You also can put it here so you can have even more of those flowers showing up. So I think I'm going to put it here. This panel is, what size is this, Susan? Oh, I don't know. Yes, I do. Two and a half. Two and a half by five. And you know what? I just had an idea. <gasps> let's just let's just add a little zinny, a pop on here. So we're going to grab a stamp that I have not even used yet. I'm not even going to put the label on it. Not anything. I'm just going to stick it on the block and stick it on our paper. Um, Uh-oh. Block. Mm. Okay. All the blocks are in use. All right. It almost fits. <laughs> Oh, I need to clearly need to put some stamps away. Mm, I have a ton of blocks, you guys. I'm not kidding you. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to bring in the glass mat here because I'm just going to stamp this. I, I 
you've asked me to not have it on my videos because it does pick up reflection. So I just bring it in when I'm going to use it. Now, this glass mat is actually only available right now. Um, it's a part of celebration, but only if you purchase the starter kit. So if you go purchase the starter kit and you maybe put the zinnias in and some other products, you get $125 in products for $99. Uh, shipping is free. And then for celebration, you can pick one of two bonuses. You can pick this glass mat studio. It comes with a cleaning cloth and a silicon mat that you can use in different ways um, for free, $60 value. Or you can uh, pick $30 in additional product and use that instead. So I've just added the little zinnia pop in there with the stamp from the set. And I'm going to put that on the inside of my card. Let me close up my ink pad before I have a inky disaster here so put the melon mambo away i'm just gonna just gonna tidy up <laughs> squeaky goodness all right there we go all better this is the cleaning cloth that comes with it and all right everything's falling it's okay it's all good all right this is reflecting so i'm gonna put it away thank you glass mat for once again, saving me. All right, so we used it in the last video. To, I love it for mounting stamps because of that grid. All right, so I've got my little um, zinnia panel for the inside. Now, this is two and a half, and this is actually a little bit, um, it's not two and three quarters. I think it's three, whatever it was. So you can put it to one side and have a little bit more here. You can split the middle and the difference. You could even make this panel bigger if you wanted to, whatever. I'm going to... I'm just going to um, put it between the two score lines like that. And all right, we're ready for the bling. So here's our card so far. Super cute, right? And again, this panel could have gone inside here. It is totally your choice. Up to you. Does stand for display because we like that. <laughs> and since Susan can't find the package that she already has open, I'll open this package. Good thing I buy two of everything. All right. Let's pull this out and decide where we want to put our sparkle. I love adding a little sparkle. Oh, good Lord. Where did I put my, hang on. My take your pick tool. Oh, found it. It was just poking out. Oh, you know what? <laughs> ah, the take your pick tool was next to the um, sequence that we used in the last video. So let's just keep using these now that I have two open. <laughs> Oh, you guys, what are we going to do with me? Seriously. Okay, let's grab some sequins and add some bling here. I'm thinking of actually putting it back here. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. Um, that's the orange one. I might just do all orange on this one. You could totally, last time we did, oh, I could put one over here. Oh, maybe I do want different colors. So many choices, right? There's no wrong answer here art it's meant to be creative and fun and so you can just do you and it is all good the whole point is just to get it out in the mail and brighten someone's day with it all right i'm not sure about the lemon lolly i'm gonna try a little pink action here mm, i think i like it over here Ooh, maybe over here oh i could do one right on that little flower right there Let's do a big one on that little flower and just totally cover it up. All right. <laughs> there. All right. That's good, except for I don't like this one now. Okay, you got to go away. Um. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Maybe down here. All right. I'm going to uh, maybe go with that. I changed my mind. <gasps> but see, doesn't that add just a little extra fun sparkle? I think maybe I don't want it there, though. Ooh, here's another little flower up here. We'll put it on there. All right, decision made. <laughs> so the card opens up like that, and boom, you can make a whole batch of those. 
um, with different patterns from the paper. Now, when you're doing this design, you do want to make sure that you pick a pattern where you like both sides, where both sides go together because it's not always the case. Sometimes the two sides are very, very different. Um, so just pick uh, two sides that look good together. And then that's the perfect. Then you know you've got the perfect paper for this particular fold, right? Let me bring in those measurements. Here we go. Oh boy, can you see that all? Yeah, I think you can just see that all. Joy, everything looks so dark tonight. Okay, I think that's all right. All right, stop wiggling, Susan. I'm gonna do this so that you can take a picture if you want. Let me clean up my area. There we go, a little more poking in. <laughs> and in fact, I will, let's open the card out a little bit maybe like that. So you can see, let's bring that up just a little bit, but if I bring that up, then they can see more mess. Well, that is pretty much how we roll here, right? <laughs> Got a random dimensional paper poking in. All right, there we go. Hopefully you got those measurements and we're going to call it a day. This was kind of a short one tonight, wasn't it? Uh, where's the camera? There's the camera. Thank you so much. Quick reminder, you can subscribe to my free project sheet, seastampfield.com. Click on subscribe. And I look forward to creating with you in a future video. Um, this month, Crafternoon is going to be the last Saturday in February, which I think is the 24th. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jennifer. And uh, I hope you can tune in at 3 p.m. Central Time that day. Let's see, this is uh, a Saturday. So I'll be back uh, Tuesday night at 7.30 Central Time with another creative project. I hope you can tune in and join me. Take care, everyone. Have a great rest of your weekend. Cheers. Bye-bye.